popularized culture and Hollywood have taken away much of the truth about the Crusades and many myths have begun to emerge and history has been eroded away and this can be really frustrating for those who are passionate about the truth. G'day guys, my name is Ben from Medieval Mayhem. On this channel we do many reviews into our equipment, we look at medieval reenactment, we look at the cultures and the wars and the battles uh, around the whole medieval period. And today I wanted to debunk some of the myths about the Crusades. Following a campaign of aggressive military expansion, the Muslim armies were now pushing against Constantinople. Emperor Alexius wrote to Pope Urban II seeking assistance because he knew the Pope had such a great relationship with the Normans. And he sought military intervention by some Norman knights he didn't think, I don't believe, that he would get such a great big response. Pope Urban II, in 1095, at the, at the Council of Clermont, declared the First Crusade. But what happened and what led to this crusade? That's important. Let's take a look. The Crusades didn't just happen. They didn't just occur and they weren't just uh, something the Pope decided to do one Friday afternoon. They were a result of 450 years worth of military expansion by the Muslim army. In 635, the first Christian city was overrun by the Muslims. In 638, the Muslims conquered Jerusalem. Many, many of the countries we currently associate with the Middle East and are typically understood today to be Muslim countries were in fact at the time Christian lands. And if not under the um, Catholic Church, then they came under denominations of the Catholic Church or denominations of Christianity and therefore were considered Christian lands. Egypt was one such country and that fell to the Muslims in 642. The Muslims plundered much of what is today Italy in 652. The siege of Constantinople took place in 668. Syria, another Christian land, was conquered in 715 by the Muslims. What is today France was attacked in 732 by large Muslim armies. And Rome itself was attacked in 846. A long protracted campaign of military expansion took place through a period of about 450 years before Crusades took place. At the Council of Clermont we know that the Pope gave a great sermon to the, uh, a large number of Norman aristocracy and knights. We don't know exactly how many people were there, but this sermon was very inspiring and it created a, a sense of obligation and desire amongst these people to take part in a crusade. I don't believe it was for, for personal gain or wealth because the history doesn't explain that. History doesn't substantiate that. There is no, and many, many knights were counseled and sat through sermons on their way to the Holy Land telling them that the most likely outcome was that they would either be killed or maimed and end up broke as a result, financially ruined, and many, many, many knights were. You have to remember that many knights were considered very fortunate or extremely wealthy to become a knight. In fact, you had to have usually well over a thousand acres of land. You had to have many people there to help sustain you. You had to have many skills and trades and qualifications of people who would be your um, armourers and weaponsmiths and blacksmiths and people to keep your horses, people to keep your buildings and your farms and everything else. It had to be profitable. It was indeed a business. And therefore, uh, whilst we think many knights did in fact uh, raid and pillage throughout Europe, um, and, and quarrel against each other, um, it certainly isn't the case in the Holy Land. This was a religious purpose that many people felt a great personal desire to prove themselves um, in a spiritual sense. And it was a, a strong indication of the level of their faith. Okay, well, uh, I hope you guys got uh, something out of today's video. Um, we're going to be doing a whole series on several of the Crusades, looking at um, the particular major individuals and what happened, some of the big achievements and the losses. 
some of the individuals who were uh, key to the Crusades themselves. Alrighty guys, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Please like, subscribe and share, and I'll catch you in my next video.